Good morning everybody, Brendan from c21teaching.com.au here. In today's Flip Teacher Professional Learning video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use Google Forms as a way of setting up a borrowing system for your class library or from some other resources that you might manage. And you need to be able to track who has borrowed things uh, and when they've been returned. Now, to set this up, what we're going to be doing is we're going to go to the Google, the add-on store and we're going to look for check it out which is the add-on that we're going to be using we're going to click on this free button here that will start it up start up the add-on and it creates a blank google form for me now what i can do here is i can set in my my basics of what i want all right so you can see that check it out is now up there next to choice eliminator 2 which is one that i used in a previous video so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to put in a title Class library borrowing form demo. And the first question we're going to have is what is your name? We obviously need to know who is borrowing the resource, whatever it might be. We want a short answer question style there and we want to make that required. Now we come up to the jigsaw puzzle, we click check it out, and then we need to click on add or edit question set. What this does is it allows us to put in the questions that we want to have. So we start from the top. Choose a question set, add new, so we're adding a new question. Check in or out set name. Uh, so, what item are you borrowing? And we want to have checkbox because some people might be borrowing multiple, they could be borrowing two or three different items at the one time. So check out empty text, all items are checked out. Check in empty text, all items are checked in. Click add as processing. So here we go. Yep gives us two sets of questions. Check out what item I'm borrowing, check in what item I do. Now we simply need to put in the names of the items that we're having. I'm just going to put in some default names here, resource A, resource B, and so on. But you can give specific, and I would recommend that you give specific titles here. So if you're using a class library as in your books, in your class library, I would put in the title and the author of each book that you're adding to this list. If it's PE resources, if it's maths resources, whatever it might be, be really specific because that will help people when they're borrowing and when they're returning. So when that's done, we're going to make that one required. Now I don't need to do anything down here because the items automatically will come to the what item are you returning from what item are you borrowing. Actually we'll make that unrequired because if it's required then people won't be able to see it. And I'll also add an other. Now the reason I'm adding an other is that someone might be borrowing something from you that I haven't actually got in the list. So it gives me a way of tracking that happens. Now let's take a look, quick look at the preview and see what this will look like. Straight away, class library borrowing form demo. Your name, Brendan, what item are you borrowing? I'm going to borrow A and I'm going to borrow B. I'm going to click on submit. Your responses have been recorded. Submit another response. And you can see now that resource A and resource B are in the check in section. So people cannot borrow those until I have returned them. So if I now check out resource C but check in resource A, for example, and put in my name of course, click submit, resource A should return to the checkout, resource C should move to check in. And you can see that that's exactly what's happened. You can have as many things in that list as you want to. You can add in other question fields as well if you need to. But this is a very, very simple way of setting up a class library borrowing form and or for tracking who's borrowing and who's returning resources that you might have in your care. So don't forget, for more helpful videos like this one, head to c21teaching.com.au. Click on subscribe down below if you like this video and feel free to drop me a line and tell me what technical help you would like or what tools you want to learn more about. Thanks very much for watching.